We're the greatest generation, they said, and I'm proud of that, to be part of it. Happening right now, 63 members of the greatest generation are on their way to Normandy tonight. The World War II veterans and their caretakers will be attending ceremonies to mark the 78th anniversary of D-Day. News Channel 8's Nico Clemens spoke with some of the heroes about what the trip means to them. All 63 are, are taking off from Tampa's airport. Uh, for many of these World War II veterans, it's the first time they'll step foot in Europe in almost 80 years. I'm curious to see the changes. I know there's a lot of changes. March 1948. That's me. That's the last time Leon Spike Spichowski was in Europe. It was his final year serving in the Army, but years before that, he had to figure out a way to enlist. I was 16, but I, I my birth certificate, I made it when I was 17, so I could get in. I was ready to go. My brother was there, my older brother. Uh, I, I said, I'm going. My mother said, it's all up to you. Spichowski was an interpreter, speaking five different languages. I spoke Polish, Slovak, Russian, German, and French. He's one of dozens of World War II, Korea, Vietnam, and Desert Storm veterans flying from Tampa to Normandy, France for the 78th anniversary of the D-Day invasion. I didn't have any idea uh, where I was going, what I was going to be doing. All I knew is that I, uh, I was given a rifle. Spichowski is one of many people speaking in Normandy on the anniversary. He wishes his wife was still alive to go with him. It's me and my bride. She died more than two years ago. The two were married almost 67 years. Their anniversary, June 6th. Never dawned on me at the time that D-Day. Until a couple of years later, I said, well, D-Day, wow. And the Florida State Elks Association is sponsoring the trip. The ceremonies in Normandy are happening on the D-Day anniversary, which is Monday. In Tampa, I'm Nico Clemens, on your side.